here's uh, another <laughs> dumb question, all right? And it's connected to trading. And so this is going to be cool because um, uh, this is going to be cool. Am I dropping frames here? I hope I'm not here, guys. I hope I am not dropping frames. I'm dropping some, but it's very small. I see myself frozen here, but I hope all is well. Okay. So another question, right? Another question that I often get is, Oliver, I watch you trade live all the time. I've watched your videos on YouTube. I've watched you trade live on Facebook Live. I've watched you trade live mostly on Periscope and things of that nature. And um, I notice that sometimes I just see you down in a position. And I've seen this, they say, I've seen this many times on your trading YouTube videos where you were down $3,000 in the trade. And then you end the trade up $1,500. To me, isn't that bad trading? <laughs> what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so, no, that, Oliver, that, that, isn't that bad trading? You're down? You're down more than you're up? That's bad trading. All right? And when I get this question, and I get it often, because those videos are out there forever, and the, yes, there are some trading videos that I've shown you trading live when I got down in a position and had to come back. And it is without fail that when I get a new group of people who see that video or see me trade and I'm down live in my trade and come back and be up, but it's when I'm up less than I'm down that the question comes. And they say, well, isn't that bad trading, Oliver, when you, you're down 3,000 but you're only up 1,000? So my response is always this. So yes, it's correct that I was down $3,000 in the trade. But is it your point that I should have stayed down $3,000 in the trade? Like, is, is that what you think proper trading would be? That if I'm down $3,000, just leave it there? Leave it, stay down $3,000. Like, just trying to come back is the bad part of, of the trade? Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> Dude, the comeback is the crowning jewel of the professional trader. The last skill, the last gem that goes in your crown. So your crown is filled with gems as a master. The last gem to be placed in the crown that makes you the king or queen of your craft, the last gem is the comeback skill. The trader who has developed the knack, the ability to come back from a loss, more often than not, is at the highest rung of professional trading. Now, let me explain something to you. This skill is so important that I have comeback drills that I practice with my traders, we will purposely go into a negative position in the trade and I will practice with them how to come back from a loss. This skill is so important that it accounts for 90% of a trader's accuracy ratio, right? So a lot of people think when they watch me trade live, I trade live every single day, and you can witness my live trading every single day, every day, for absolutely free, all right? Um, so when traders start to follow my live trading for a while, all right, they begin to, they, they begin to feel and see, wow, this is an extremely high level of, of, of consistency and accuracy. So they don't see many losing days. In fact, for many years, my average number of losing days per year 
is anywhere between four and eight losing trading days a year. Now, a lot of people feel, feel that that's incredible, but it's not as incredible as you think. There are professional traders that have not had a losing day in years, right? Don't think that that is as odd as it sounds. NASDAQ market makers barely have a lose, rarely have a losing day. New York stock, stock exchange specialists almost never have a losing day. The professional side experiences a higher degree of consistency and accuracy because they have greater access, better tools, and more money than your average typical trader sitting in a, in a chat room chatting about nothing on Facebook. All right? So having four to six to eight losing trading days a year is not as odd in the professional world as it is in the retail novice world. That's number one. But number two, what is often missed is the fact that I am in a losing trade a heck of a lot of times. In fact, I would say 50% of my trades go negative first, but, and that is, that is not bothersome to me, all right? I have to come back from a loss a high percentage of the time. I have developed the skill to be able to come back from 90 plus percent of my losses and turn them into winning trades. If I did not have that skill, you would not see four to eight losing trading days a year. You would see many, many, many losing trading days a year. If I had to take the losses of every single losing trade that I had, I would not be as good a trader. 50-50 maybe. <laughs> and that's not a good trade. 50-50 is a horrible trader. You can't be profitable at 50-50 in this game. All right? So um, the idea that if you come back from a loss and your gain is smaller than the amount that you were down, the, the, the concept or the idea that that is bad trading doesn't even make sense to me because it insinuates that either come back more than you're down or don't come back at all, otherwise it's bad trading. What? Dude, coming back from a loss and just breaking even is a win. You understand? You entered the most competitive market in the world with sharks the size of skyscrapers that want to take your life. That vultures in this market want you to leave empty-handed and broke. You go into those shark infested infested, vulture-filled markets and come out with all of your limbs, all of your clothes, and all of your possessions, you didn't gain anything, but you didn't lose anything, trust me when I tell you, you won. You won. Because for me, if you dare step anywhere close to my world and you do not know what you're doing, you are going to leave without your money. And I promise you that. You bring your money with no skill, no experience, and no education, and no know-how behind you, you are going to leave empty-handed. You are going to leave your money with me, and you're going to go back naked. <laughs> that is a promise. All right? So... If you can get past me and traders like me and lose nothing, you have won. Now, if you have gotten into negative territory and managed to get yourself past break even, to come back to actually even leave with something, that is a grand slam. There is nothing to be embarrassed about by being down and coming back, but your comeback produced a smaller gain than you were down. 
I'm going to shake your hand in that position. If you've done it with skill and not through luck, of course. Oh, it's bad. You're, you're trading bad, Oliver. You were down 3,000 and you only were up 1,000 at the end of the trade. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous.